Wait. Grab life by the bowls. Yes, grab it and pick up those bowls, which must be handled just so. Step two, figuring out the scoring. Do you both agree? To yeah, one. That's one, you can move it away. Mei Chung is one of the NASCAD design profs. The challenge for the club, whose history dates back to 1887? Well, this place is filled with gray-haired people. So the student's job, design new logos that will target a new audience. The uh, project was originally for is to bring uh, a generation gap between what's going on here at the Wonders Lawn Bowling Club and bringing in new blood. So their theme? Barefoot bowls and barbecue. And there was lots of bare feet on the greens. Barefoot kind of gives it a different element that kind of makes it more exciting and like relaxed, not so official. And a burger after. What's not to like? We wanted to do it to attract millennials and hipsters. That's our audience. So the demographic we were looking for is uh, people that are, you know, a little bit more modern hip. And uh, we thought the tattoos would just be a fun little play on that. Sure, the list of etiquette rules says proper attire and shoes are needed. But what could be more on hipster than those kind of rules? Even the old timers think it's not a bad idea. You can do it with barefoot. Why not? It's nice grass. It doesn't hurt it. The students' design work will be voted on. Lawn bowling's not really known to a younger generation, so in this sense, a good design needs to catch the eye right away. The club doesn't have to embrace any of their ideas, but in Australia, their barefoot burgers bowl night's a hit. Of course, they add beer there. These students think it could work here. Definitely, if you uh, bring us breads, it'd be great, yeah. The club's been around nearly 130 years, making it one of the oldest in the province. A younger crowd might make sure an old tradition continues hipster style. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Halifax.